Well, happy October, everyone. This is what I'm making to heat my camper this winter. It's a barrel stove, and I'm going to enclose it in sheet metal and make an outdoor furnace out of it. And then I'm going to pipe it into that window that you can't see right there under the tarp. So, that's my project. I'm working on it now. I got the barrel stove put together. That was really easy to do. Now I'm just working on building my box to contain it in to serve as a heat exchanger. So I'll uh, get back with you and show you the progress along the way. Also, I set it up on some concrete blocks so it would be about eight inches off the ground because we get such deep snow here. I figured that way I could uh, be easier to load the uh, fire, the firewood into it. So, all right, I'll uh, catch up with you a little bit later and show you the progress. Okay, I have my panels marked where I'm going to make a little cut right here on this black line. It's two to two inches in there and here in and then I'm going to fold it and bend it up along this line to form a, a box. That way I can attach my side panels. I bought some of this stuff. I think it's called J channel. I'm not sure exactly what it's called but I think that's it. See it has little slots on each end and you can insert the stuff I thought that would be pretty handy for putting the side panels on. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing when I get a little farther. Okay, well I have the bottom box made and now I'm attaching the, the sides. I thought I'd do this front side first since it's going to be the hardest because I have to cut around the barrel for the opening. So that's the progress so far. See you in a bit. Well, good morning. I ran out of daylight yesterday, but I did manage to get most of the heat exchanger box built. I just have to put the back on and the top part and, uh, you know, fix everything up and make sure it's tight and fitting on here correctly. So this is what it'll look like um, once I get the top on. That'll be pretty cool. I'm going to show you around here what it looks like inside this box. And uh, there you go. See, I'm going to put the back side on right here. And then right here, uh, I'll be cutting a hole to put a heat vent pipe here, which will come out of the side of this box. And come up here and go in that window after I take the window out and make a uh, form-fitting board to accept the heat register going in to the camper. So this is kind of cool. I'm really, uh, really kind of excited to get it all done and uh, test it out. And I'm really so thankful to Jane All Zero for him showing his video on how he did his that it inspired me to do this because I've really been trying to figure out how I could uh, heat my camper without having to pay a huge electric bill. So, okay, well, I will uh, show you the progress as I go. See you in a bit. Okay, well, here's the progress on my stove. I've been working on it. I have a few more things yet to do before I fire it up and test it and I'm not going to tighten up and seal up everything until I fire it up and get it tested and make sure everything is where I want it. That pipe coming out the side is going to take the heat from the heat exchanger box up here and it's going to go in this window here and on the inside I'll have a heat register there. So that's what I'm doing now today. 
I have to put my uh, damper on and the stove pipe. And then I have to finish fitting this last top piece here over the top. And then I will put the front on and bolt it on. And then I'll get back with you as it progresses. Thanks. Well, I'm forming the last piece that fits over the top of the uh, stove. And I'm making an outline here. i got to cut out for around where the top of the barrel goes. And then this piece is going to fit right there on the top of the stove. So, I'll get that done and then I'll come back and show you the progress. Okay, I've got a little bit of wood loaded in there. And I'm going to attempt to get it going and see how it works. Get back with you in a few. Okay, I just got it started and I'm going to keep a close eye on it. I don't have everything tightened up yet. I'm just testing it out, make sure I got everything together the right way. But there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Yay! Okay, after testing out the furnace, I had to take it apart and get some heat-resistant wrap and tape to put around this vent you see here. Okay, so it's all fired up outside, and you're looking at an inside view with my thermometer sticking out. It's coming in just over 250 degrees, the air temperature coming inside. So I think I have everything worked out. It's heating up really nicely in here. I used it last night. It was 26 degrees outside, and it kept it a nice toasty 70 degrees inside. So that's my project. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks. See ya.